Hey, what's up guys? My name is Presto, and I am bringing you some Gears of War 3 King of the Hill gameplay today. Um, this gameplay actually is very, very fast-paced. It's very entertaining. A lot of kills, a lot of killing going on, and uh, I definitely think you guys are going to find it uh, very interesting to watch. I just got to warn you guys that I do get killed uh, a few times in a row in the beginning, so... Um, but it does start to heat up near the end, so definitely stay tuned. But I am commentating this video to answer uh, everyone's questions that they asked in my last video. For those of you who don't know, my subscribers, my viewers, uh, I asked them to ask me any question they want to ask me in my previous video, and I would answer it in my next Gears of War 3 video. So I got a good chunk of questions here. And I, we should probably get into it because we want to fit it in this uh, in this gameplay here. All right, first question is from Lasers X, and he asks, "Who was your favorite porn star?" Um, I don't watch porn. I'm not big into porn. I'm not a real porn buff. But if I had to pick, I would choose Shyla Styles. Next question, uh, Miracle Man. Can you save 50% or more on car insurance by switching to Geico? Uh, yes, depending on who you are, depending on your demographic. That's a big thing with insurance companies. You know, they look at what, who you are exactly. For example, I'm the worst demographic when it comes to uh, insurance companies. I am a 21-year-old single male, and they any insurance co company would top dollar me. Um, but I'm actually going through Geico, and it's not so so bad. Um, I'm not paying like over through the through the roof uh, rates for my insurance, but um, you know it all depends on your demographic. Um, write a KC. Can I have a match with you on Gears 2? Uh, yeah, if you find me online on on Gears 2, I, I kind of put Gears 2 in just from time to time, just for shits and giggles. Uh, don't. Don't be afraid to send me an invite. Um, it's not like I, I completely avoid the game. I jump on from time to time, but I probably wouldn't be so hot because I'm definitely more of a Gears 1 player. He also asks, can I be your friend? Well, yeah, of course you can be my friend. Uh, <laughs> you know, I consider all you guys my friends. Why not? He also asks, when Gears 3 comes out, will you be willing to hold an open lobby? Uh, yes, I will be doing that for my subscribers. Um, that's definitely going to be a fun thing to come across, actually. Getting to actually play with my subscribers, getting to play with the people that view my videos, definitely something I'm looking forward to when Gears 3 comes out. I can't wait. I will definitely keep you guys updated. All right, next question comes from I'm Mr. Pop Tarts, and he asks, "Would you rather lose your dick or your eyes?" And to be honest, I would rather lose my eyes. Um, <laughs> I, I just couldn't lose my my dick, man. I just uh, <laughs> my penis would keep me happy, and uh, and your your dick is your manhood. You know, you you just can't lose that, um, blind or not. <laughs> uh, next question comes from Shade zero zero six. If a train leaves the station at three p.m. headed east at seventy miles per hour, and train B heads west on the same track at four p.m. going two hundred miles per hour, headed west. What's the reason they charge five dollars for bottled water at sporting events? Um, <laughs> I think they overprice things at sporting events simply because they can. Uh, they know that nobody's really going to actually lose their seat and go to a store across the street to to get uh, bottled water or soda or, or little snacks, whatever. They're, that's they they overcharge it because they know that the majority of people are they're actually going to buy what they what they have to offer overpriced or not which i think is a little cheap but uh... yeah next question comes from king brooks and he asked do you think you will ever join a clan or start one yourself uh... now there's a lot of attention going uh, going around with with me joining a clan i've been getting messages here and there um, Right now, I'm not interested in joining a clan. I'm already with uh, I'm with a group, I should say, uh, UTI, and you know they're all my boys. Everyone in UTI, they're all chill people, and and uh, we're not really clan like game battles, uh, t the, that type of clan. We're just morally a group of people. Um, we actually had the saying, it's like we're not a clan, we're a family for a while. But uh, we've definitely put in work to the game battle tryhard clans before, so we got that under our belt. But if I want to start one later down the road, who knows? You know, maybe, uh, uh, 
it's definitely a possibility. Uh, next question comes from EAN2796. Have you ever been arrested? Uh, yes, I believe I've been arrested about three times when I was younger. Uh, I mean, I'm 21 years old now, but when I was around 18, I was, I was young and dumb, and I, I did a lot, uh, did a lot of partying, and, and you know, just the, the high school parties, getting busted by the cops for underage drinking, and and I hung out with the wrong crowd. We we were into like this graffiti scene for a while, and I got busted for that a little bit, but. Um, that's something I would probably explain to you guys in another video. Um, but yeah, probably I'm, my best guess would be a total of three times. And I got a bunch of questions from Core Michael Wolfman P, which I really do appreciate, man. The more questions, the merrier. This is great. Uh, his first question is, what is it about Gears of War that makes you want to play it more than bigger name shooters like Halo or COD? Um, mainly, I think... I just keep coming back to Gears of War is, is simply because it was my first game that I've ever got. It's it's the first game that I've ever gotten into like like hard, I should say. Um, and I do play Call of Duty. You know, I tried playing Halo. Halo really isn't my thing, but I have played Call of Duty before. And and I, you know, when I'm bored of Gears, I'll probably throw in Call of Duty for a little bit. But I get bored of Call of Duty pretty quick, and and then jump right back on Gears. So it's nothing that I actually have against them. I just kind of like the feel of Gears a little more. I like the third-person feel and the, the real tight controls, I guess. And I like the fast-pacedness, uh, I guess. But, uh, yeah, next question. Uh, when you were growing up as a kid, what was the first game system that got you into gaming? Oh, it was definitely the Nintendo, the old-school gray box Nintendo. And the game I would play religiously as a kid was just Mario. Just Mario, the first Mario ever made. I would beast on that fucking game. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, if you were offered a job that paid one million dollars a year to sit and play all day long, post video games online. Uh, I'm sorry, I should rephrase that. To sit and play video games all day long and post videos online, live anywhere you want, but couldn't talk or see anyone face to face. Would you take it? Uh, no, I would not. Simply because you know, humans need human interaction to live. And and just to sit in one spot to to play a video game with no human interaction, you would I think uh, someone would literally die uh, with not being sociable with one another. You would probably die from a blood clot. And if I was in that position, I would probably die from a blood clot or kill myself because I need interaction with other human beings, as does everybody. Um, now let's see here. Uh, do you drink coffee or energy drinks to stay awake or nothing at all? Uh, well, when I'm working the night shift, I definitely need to be caffeinated. Um, around summer, summertime to spring, I just in, in the summer generally, I should say, I drink uh, cold caffeinated beverages such as Monster, Red Bull. And in the winter, when it starts to get a little colder, I drink coffee. Um, I definitely need to be... Uh, caffeinated one way or the other uh, when going to work it just I don't I don't know if it's an addiction or what but it, it definitely needs I need to have some sort of uh, some sort of caffeine in my body when going to work now uh, let's see here how old were you when you had your real first kiss uh, I was probably about on my best guess I would say probably about nine maybe ten years old uh, from some skank slut fucking gave me the stiff. No, I don't know. We're both like 10 years old. Uh, I don't know. We're just some young and dumb stupid shit. Didn't really mean anything. And, uh, the last question is Mac or PC? Uh, I would have to go with Mac. Uh, they're definitely a lot more reliable, a lot more power than a PC. Um, they, uh, uh, the Macs are just, they're sexier, I think. I unfortunately have a PC. I would choose a Mac if I had the option, but uh, they're just super expensive. Um, all right, next question comes from CaliDude9703. What games does your girlfriend play? Uh, my girlfriend generally plays uh, Grand Theft Auto, kind of free roaming, kind of have fun recreational games. Nothing competitive like Call of Duty or or Gears of War. As much as I tried to get her into this the shooters, she just wasn't having it. So she kind of just leisurely plays uh, Grand Theft Auto and and racing games and. Uh, 
Red Dead Redemption. You know, those games are always fun. All right, next question we got from R Pilgrim. What did you buy out of your first paycheck? Um, oh wow. I would say my first job ever worked, my first paycheck, I probably saved up for an iPod. That's my best guess. Uh, when I first started working, I was really determined. I always put my mind to certain things that I wanted, and I would save up. You know, every check that I would get, I would save up. And the last question comes from Leader of Sith Clan, and he asked, Does Battlefield 3 excite you? And to be completely honest, uh, it does not excite me as much as Modern Warfare 3 does. I'm definitely looking forward to Modern Warfare 3. I was just more of a Call of Duty player rather than a Battlefield player. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to Gears of War mostly out of all three games coming out uh, later this year. Uh, if you guys are willing to watch some Call of Duty content, I can definitely post some for you. So just be sure to let me know what you guys want to see. And I'm going to have to cut this interview short and finish it up in my next video. So stay tuned. Uh, definitely rate the video, uh, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe for more high-definition Gears of War gameplay. I'll catch you guys later.